Good morning. Somebody was just saying ma 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 ma. See if she says it now. Wait, Phoenix, wait. We say ma 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 ma. Ababa. Say ma 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 ma. No, no, you're not going to say it. Say da 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 da. Mama. Baba. Baba. <gasps> say ma 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 ma. Baba. Baba. <laughs> Phoenix is saying it. Say ma 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 ma. Ma 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 ma. No. Phoenix, can you say ma 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 ma? <laughs> say ba ba ba. <laughs> Phoenix, say cool. Cool. <laughs> say cool. Cool. Yesterday he woke up saying cool. I don't know where he got that from. Avery, say ma ma ma. He just finished therapy. She took like a 30 minute nap. I was like laying with her. We're home trying as well asleep. <laughs> Avery, say ma ma ma. Ma ma ma, Phoenix. Nice. Nice to me. Ma, 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 ma. So this just ha happened. She was sitting here. I went into this closet to get something for Phoenix because he was asking me. And I turned around and she's just there. I She didn't cry, nothing. I don't know how she got there. She probably went to her stomach and then rolled. But it literally happened in a second. Hey, watch that. What are you doing with that? What are you doing with that? I love mom and dad. Do you love mom and dad? Yes. Okay, mommy will get that for you. <laughs> Look at her. Hey, you're getting mobile. She doesn't crawl, but she gets around. And Phoenix, of course, asked for that puzzle. So now he's getting a little frustrated. Do you need help? Do you need help? Here, Avery. Play with that. I put these pillows around her because sometimes she just goes onto her belly or her side. And, like, she lands pretty hard. Still trying to understand how to land, but, <laughs> but obviously I should put it this way. Maybe I'll move her to her corner. That's her safe corner. Do you need help, baby? Help. There you go. You got it. Good job. I'm just building some Legos here. He did all this all by himself. Help. help. Bubba, help. You don't have to cry. You can say help. There it is. All done. Okay. Do you want mommy to take it out and you do it again? This frustration levels are all really high today. Okay, you do it. He wants to be so independent, but he wants help. You have to move it down. Mommy, help. Right there. Phoenix, you do, go ahead, right there, right there, good job, you're going to take the E out, All right. okay, so it is cloth diaper laundry day and regular laundry, but I haven't been able to do that, because Lisa's therapist came kind of early today, um, so I wasn't able to run downstairs and put the clothes in. And I don't like to do it when they're up here because um, I could lock the door and sit him in the high chair or something so I can run down. But I don't like to just do that. That's why I like to do it when he's eating breakfast because he's already sitting in the high chair. And then I can just run down without a problem. And I don't want to take them both down with me. That's just more of a hassle. So, and if I just go down, and it's not the same as running upstairs and leaving him down here mobile. But going downstairs, I don't know. It's just different to me. And then he he also, he wants to go with me when I open that door. Like, he wants to go downstairs. So, um, I wait till they're napping or, like I said, till he's sitting. I just made him a grilled cheese for lunch. He's actually eating it, which is good. Um, he puts his, <laughs> he always puts his pants up. Look at this. Don't worry, Dora. Like, <laughs> he looks like he has shorts on. Does he look like he got shorts on? Okay. <laughs> Phoenix. Hey. Hey, why do you have your pants all the way up? You have shorts in the winter? And he is eating his... He, um, I was putting the DVR on, I was putting some Mickey on for Avery while I was over here doing the cloth diaper laundry. And, um, he 
saw the Dora on the list, I haven't put it on in a while. And he pointed to it, so I put it on, and he's been like looking for it. Like, he loves like the interactive of it, like when they ask questions, he's pointing and stuff. So yesterday, there was like a big chunk of the day that I didn't vlog, and I didn't really, really notice until I was editing, where I think it was like after nap time was the last um, clip, and then um, my, I ended it at night when they went to sleep. I'm pretty sure that's how it went. And I was like, what did my vlog sit? And I kind of didn't feel myself yesterday. I was kind of just like feeling very ugh and like just, I don't know, like questioning a lot about what I'm doing and like my life and my everyday life and stuff. And it was just kind of like feeling super blah. And I didn't purposely not vlog. I just, I don't know, I just didn't vlog. Like we were playing with the kids, we had dinner, my husband came home, like, you know, all these things happened, but like, mentally i was just kind of like not there i was like laying on the couch at one point kind of falling asleep and then i'm like snapped out of it and so as i ended the vlog yesterday i said a little story about my mom and then i kind of put into perspective why i've been feeling the way i've been feeling because i've been feeling like this for quite a few days and this month is my mom's birthday month. And it's crazy because every time it's like either the month that she died or her birthday month or the holidays, but that's just a given for the holidays. But I always seem to be like just different. Like, I don't know, but it's subconsciously. Like it's not in the front of my mind, but once I sit and think about it, it's like that's what's weighing down on me. So on the 18th, would be her birthday and that's also phoenix's half birthday so we always celebrate his half birthday because it's her birthday and i always used to buy her bake her a cake when she was alive so ever since she's died on you know the first birthday after she had died i've always baked the cake and then it just so happens that that was phoenix's six month birthday and year and a half birthday look at him and now it'll be his two and a half birthday so it's his half birthday so it just it's like a perfect you know um, so that's coming up and I think that's why subconsciously I'm just kind of not feeling myself I'm just thinking about life and and all this stuff and her and you know just it's tough being a mom and not having your mom and I'm sure if anybody out there knows exactly what I'm talking about um, or if you do have your mom like you probably can't picture picture it without like you know imagine like not um, you know she never met any of them so it's just hard but I know she's in a better place um she was really sick i have a video um on my mommy channel called losing my mom and um i explain like you know everything in more detail about you know her sickness and stuff um i will link that down below for you guys if you are interested in seeing um but yeah so i've just kind of been feeling a little blah lately and just kind of like i don't know just blah missing her and you know, I don't have a lot of family at all. My sisters are in Florida. Um, I have like cousins and stuff here, but nobody that I'm super close to. You know, it's only really John's family that I have here. Um, so it's tough sometimes because, you know, it's it's not the same. They're my family now, but you know, it's not like my family family growing up. And I FaceTime with my sister a lot. Um, probably, you know, at least, the least is once a week and then we have a week where it's like every day and then, you know things get busy and then it's like and yesterday was funny because i was like a little down and out and avery was laying on me and she was going like this to my arm it's like probably obviously it was coincidence but it was just so cute and i'm just so happy that i have them because it makes everything you know it makes it better you know it makes it easier but it's still tough i know i keep looking off to to dora <laughs> i don't know but yeah so i've been if you notice i'm just a little off then that's probably most likely what it is um on that day we will celebrate we'll have a little cake and we'll have phoenix's half birthday and um his grandma's birthday i think she would have been this is the six it's gonna be seven years i think that she's passed she was 43 when she died so she would have been 50 oh shoot right i think it's been seven years yeah, I think this would have been her 50th. Holy crap. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> eh, whatever. Say hi. Say hi. Baby. <laughs> what are you doing, Mama? Huh? 
I got to feed her now. Some, what do you want to eat today? Let's see. What are we going to give you? I think we have apples, bananas. <laughs> I've made so many apples and bananas. I need to give, give them to her so I can make other stuff. Maybe we'll see what else we have. Yes? Yeah? Say mama. 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 I swear she said it before, guys. And dad, 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 dad. Oh, you hear dad, dad, you get so happy. She is a daddy's girl. Say dad, dad, dad. <laughs> Little face. Dad, 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 dad. No, you can't have the camera. Say da da da. Da da da. Da 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 da. Mama mama mama. Mama mama mama. It's finally time to use the bucket and clean this bathroom. Probably doesn't look dirty to you guys, but I need to clean it. Got the broom. Got my handy bucket here. All my stuff in it. And I'm gonna clean. Phoenix is still awake. I had to go change his bum because he pooped. I knew it. I just felt like because he was standing up. So hopefully he falls asleep soon because it's 2.15 and I have to wake him up at 4.15. So <coughs> here we go. Let's see how long it takes me to clean this bathroom. So I just woke up from nap time. We just got downstairs. We're waiting for his therapist. She should be here in like five minutes. And I had to change Phoenix again because his shirt was wet. His undershirt. It's like the onesie shirt. So I just changed his onesie and then I just put those pajama pants on. But I don't understand why he's wetting himself during nap time. I mean, he does drink M-I-L-K you know, half hour before, but, and I changed, actually, I went in and changed him because he had pooped, so his diaper was beyond fresh. Got a lot of peepees. Here's this little mama, I have her bib, her Valentine's bib on, and take a picture. This was Phoenix's. I don't need Cupid, everyone already loves me. Does everyone love you? Oh, she loves, like, rubbing things on her hands and on her face, especially when she's sleeping, right? Yeah, yeah. Phoenix wanted to play with this. He also brought down his shape sorter from upstairs. Whoa, it's crazy because when he got that, I think it was like a year ago maybe, he couldn't do it and now he finds the actual pieces. Are you a big boy? Phoenix say cool. Cool. <laughs> I can't get enough how he says that. He sounds so adorable. I cleaned the bathroom. Yay. It took me forever because she kept like whining. I don't know what was wrong with her. I kept having to put her passy back in her mouth. And then I showered and then I woke them up. Well, I got him because he was awake. And then I pumped and um, had, he had a snack and stuff. So the therapist should be here soon. And I'm debating if I, while he's in therapy, if I should go to the basement with Avery. And I have clothes washing, so I have to switch him over. But and have to dry the diapers but i wonder if i should go down with avery and try to organize a little bit while he's in therapy um, because she has the walker down there that she loves but she might have to eat soon but i can always take the bottle down but i think i'm gonna do that i think i'm going to let me take the diapers out now so that i can take them down with me but that's an hour about an hour and 15 minutes this therapy is an hour and a half but the last 15 minutes they write their notes so that's a good amount of time. Instead of being stuck upstairs, I really don't have much to do upstairs. Um, I can just try to do something downstairs, even if it's like a little bit. I think that's what I'm going to do. Maybe I should do that every time he has afternoon therapy, if she just woke up. Because she'll be in a happy mood. Like the most she'll probably have to do is eat. And there's a love seat down there. I can sit and feed her, put her in the walker, and then try to do something. <laughs> I was just taking a picture of little mama here. With her cute bib and her bow. I think she started to take it off. She was like going like that. Phoenix is in therapy. The stairs. We came up right now too. I have to feed her soon. But she seems happy. So I don't want to just give it to her just yet. So I'm just going to clean up this nap time mess. 
Yeah, you're gonna play? <gasps> oh, is that so cool? <laughs> Anybody else's kids get super hyper once daddy gets home? <laughs> He's non-stop since daddy got home. <laughs> Are you super? Oh, are you playing with sister? Is that why you're running? <laughs> I think he's trying to make her laugh. Are you trying to make sister laugh? Uh, daddy. Daddy. Say hi, sister. I am cooking some dinner. Phoenix just got done with therapy. I'm cooking. Dinner, we're having quesadillas tonight. We've been a uh, quesadilla family lately. It's just a easy go-to meal that we enjoy. We just put some chicken, some cheese, and that's it, and some sour cream. So that's what I'm up to. <laughs> Phoenix is playing with a babies there, watching me. I still haven't finished the laundry or diaper laundry. I have the diapers here I have to take down. I did not go to to the garage, which you probably know because you saw me playing upstairs with Avery. Um, so, that was cool. Hi guys, and welcome to the end of the vlog. <laughs> it is 9.50 and everybody's sleeping. Avery has been asleep since 8 o'clock. She was, well, I was trying to put her down for her last, like, little cat nap around 7.30. But I waited too long, so she was getting really fussy and crying, and she did not want to go to sleep. Um, but she was tired, so she was rubbing her eyes and closing her eyes. But she wanted to sleep, so I tried to like keep her up, and she was miserable. So finally at 8, I gave in. I fed her, and she knocked out. So I'm like, great. Like, this is too late for a cat nap. My husband barely got sleep last night, so he was like exhausted, so he like passed out on the couch. So I just put her to sleep at 8 o'clock and I don't know, I hope it doesn't backfire because I just saw her moving so I don't know if it's gonna backfire but if she wakes up I'm just gonna try to put her back, back to sleep so there we go. That's the end of the vlog. Phoenix is in bed too. That's the daily yo. I gotta go. Bye guys. He looks like he's gonna go to gym class. <laughs> he's ready for gym class. Let's see if he'll look at me.